one of the main reasons that some traders are very profitable and some are just uh, break even or worse is usually due to edge. Think of it like this. A casino never loses money. Why? Because they always have an edge. If you're on a roulette table and you're betting on black or red, it feels like it's a 50-50 chance, right? But in reality, it's not. Your exact probability on a roulette table if you're betting on red and black is 48.6% if you're in Europe and 47.4% if you're in America. Why? Because in Europe, they add one zero to the table and in greedy America, of course, they add not only the zero but also a double zero to the table and that tilts the odds in the favor of the casino by two 0.6%. So if you follow the law of large numbers, the casino will always win in the long run. In this video, we're going to cover exactly how to set yourself up with an edge on every single trade that you make from now on, even if that edge is as small as 2.6%. Hey, what's up? Jay here and welcome to Bitcoin Daily, bringing you the best tips, tutorials and ideas to help you learn how to become a profitable and successful trader. On this channel, we do a lot of market analysis. We do videos going over different trade ideas and we teach you how to trade to help you get to that next level. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. And if you've been here before, make sure to hit that like button and leave a comment. So today, we're going over a profit taking strategy to maximize the winners and minimize your losers. The one mistake that I see a lot of beginner traders making is close their winning trades out too early. Now it is true that it is never a bad idea to take profits, but if you're closing your trades out way too early, then you're giving away an edge anytime you don't properly maximize your winning trades. So, what we're going to cover today is our exact profit taking strategy in this video to make sure that you guys have that extra 2.6% edge on every trade that you take by maximizing your profits when you finally hit that euphoric winning trade. All right, guys, no more talking. Let's dive right in. Okay, guys, so let's talk about profit taking strategies. All right, so how to take profit. Now, this is an example that I want to give you guys. So to make it as simple as possible, um, we're going to use $100 to just make everything nice and easy, right? So if I have $100 in a position at TP1, now for those that don't know what TP means, it means take profit. At take, pro take profit one, that means your first spot that you're going to take profit at. I'm going to take 25% profit of my position and I'm going to move my stop loss to break even for the remaining position. OK, so that means that if I have one hundred dollars. As soon as I hit my TP one, I'm taking twenty five dollars out. Then I'm taking my stop loss and I'm moving it up to break even at that point. Right. So you have a choice. You could either leave your stop loss where it is or you can move it up to break even. At that point, if you move it up to break even, you've taken 25% profits. And if the price is to go back down, um, at that point, you'll you'll be stopped out of the trade in profit. And remember, what we want to do is be able to grab the profits when we're there, but we also want to maximize our um, our profits. So this is the way that you do that. So now we've taken $25 off the table. So we have $75 remaining in the position. So at TP2, take profit two. Once we hit that, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to take off 25% of our profit. We're going to take $25 more. Um, and we're now we're going to take our trail stop because the stop loss becomes a trail. Once you start trailing your position, right? We're going to take our trail stop up to take profit one. So we're going to put our our trail stop where the first price where we took profits, right? So we, now we've now taken profit twice. We have $50 left in the position 
our other $50 are trailing the price right now and it's currently at TP1. So now if we hit that third position, right, we're gonna take another $25 off the table. And if we don't hit the third that third profit uh, mark, then we're gonna end up trailing out at the TP1, okay? So now let's say we do hit that TP3, right? We're gonna take another $25 out of the trade and we're going to leave the remainder of the position there and move it up in the trail stop with our trail stops, we're gonna move it up to TP2, okay? Now, at this point, you should hold a remaining 25% of your, your initial position plus any other profits that you might have in between that, right? Now, you're probably asking and you're probably wondering what do you do with that remaining position? So that's what we're gonna talk about next. But I wanna make sure that you guys understand what we're doing while we're taking profit. So let's go ahead and look at a current trade that we have open in Ethereum. So when we're looking at this trade, we're going to look for um, areas of resistance. We're going to look for price action. We're going to look for rejection. Um, you know, we're going to be looking for all these things. So what we like to do, we like to jump over to the chart. This is where we like to chart. We chart over on TradingView. Now, as you guys can see, we're looking at these tops right here, right? So that this means that price got rejected at these three areas. So you know what? That is a perfect spot to set up to take profit, right? Because we know there's rejections there. So that means that there's resistance in that area. So that first level is around $1,110. That second level is around $1,135. And then the third level is around $1,168. So what we like to do, we like to take profits just before that top. So this one was $1,112. So we're going to go ahead and set up a take profit at $1,110. So we're gonna go ahead and set up our order to take profit at $1,110 on Bybit. If you guys have not signed up for Bybit, make sure and hit the description on the bottom. We have a link that you guys can use. We've negotiated with Bybit a special and exclusive deposit bonus for Bitcoin daily members, where if you deposit 0.1 BTC, you receive a $50 bonus. If you deposit 0.2 BTC, you receive a $100 bonus. So go ahead and take advantage of that, guys. The link is in the description below. Now, if you guys have never used Bybit, then I recommend you guys watch our Bybit tutorial. I'm gonna go ahead and post it right here above me. It should be coming up. And we also have a Bybit tutorial uh, for mobile. So if you, if you wanna trade on a mobile app, then you can use that link there and watch that tutorial. So there's two different types of orders that you can set up on Bybit when taking profits. There's a market order, or there's a limit order. Now, when do you use which? When we're taking profits, we always use limit orders. So you can just set up a limit order and it's going to fulfill once the price reaches that spot. Now, when do we use market orders? We usually use market orders on our stop losses and on breakout entries. That's the two times we use market orders. And we use a market order combined with a stop order. So it's, a, it's considered a stop market order. And basically what that means on Bybit, it's considered a conditional order. They call it a conditional order here. When the trigger price activates, so if we set our price at um, you know $1,100 and it activated at 1100, it will sell at the market price. So it will, it will find the best uh, bid currently and sell it at that price. So what market order does is makes sure that your order is fulfilled. Um, a limit order, it might not get fulfilled. That's why on stop losses and breakout entries, you always wanna use market orders. And to take profit, you wanna use limit orders. And that's not something that you're really worried too much about. So for this case, we're going to go ahead and use the limit order. So 25% of our current contracts will be 1,477. Then we're gonna go ahead and hit reduce only to make sure that it only reduces our position. And then we're gonna go ahead and hit sell or short. 
you will see that once we set that order up, boom, the order comes up right here. Now we can see our order for 1,477 contracts at 1110, right? So now we're gonna go ahead and set up our second take profit. So let's go ahead and put it 1130 for the same amount of contracts, 1477, reduce only, we're, on, we're in limit, isolated, and then we're gonna go ahead and hit the sell. So now you see that we got a second sell order set up here. And now we're gonna set our third and final take profit, which is gonna be up here at the previous high, 1170 for 1,477 contracts. So now you guys see that we have all three of our take profits orders done. So if we hit all these prices, then we're gonna have 25% left. Now, what do you do with that extra 25%? That's what we're gonna talk about next. Alrighty guys, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video so far. And if you have found any value so far, I would appreciate it if you guys would hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. I know you guys might forget, so I'm just giving you a little reminder. Next, we're going to be talking about the runner strategy. That's the bonus tip that we have for you guys. And that is what makes this profit taking strategy so valuable. And this is what gives you your edge. The runner strategy is what helps you maximize your winning trades. So let's take a look back at this trade. Let's pretend we hit all of our targets and now we just want to trail it for as long as possible. So the way you trail it is with a stop loss. So you have to create a stop order. Remember on Bybit for stop orders, you have to create a conditional order. So I'm going to hit conditional and I'm going to make sure that it's in market. The reason why we're choosing market is because we want to make sure that the sell fulfills if the price were to come back down. You don't want to lose out on those profits. Trust me. All right. So I set up the trigger price 1050 and let's say that our remaining position is 1477. We're going to hit close on trigger and we're going to hit sell. So now you see that this order just popped up. So we have uh, at 1050, we have 1477 contracts, which is, which is the remainder of our position. Um, and we're going to be trailing the price with this contract, with this trail stop. Alrighty guys, that pretty much covers it. We've gone over exactly how to take profits in every situation to maximize those winning trades. Then we've covered how to do the runner strategy. That is a very popular strategy and one that we use all the time to make sure that you maximize those trades and give you that extra 2.6% edge, which in the big picture and the long run makes a big difference. Guys, make sure to go ahead and hit that subscribe and hit that notification bell because sometimes we put up videos and they might have trade setups in them for you guys to make some profits. And if you guys watch the videos late, you might miss out on those trades. I don't want you guys to miss out on money. I'm sure you don't want to miss out on money. So make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. If you guys found value in this content, in this video today, make sure to go ahead and hit that like button. Just smash it a couple times for me. And that's pretty much it, guys. I will see you guys on the next video. And as always, peace and love. See you guys tomorrow.